Kyle, a 1-1 one -one draw against Falkirk this afternoon. Was it a good point gained in the end or do you feel it's two points dropped? Um, we'll say that on the basis of the game, I think obviously the first half, Falkirk were probably on top. Um, there were a couple of chances. Um, I just think we probably weren't close enough to them. Um, at half time, well, we changed it and I felt it got a lot more into the game. And I think second half, we were well on top for maybe 30 minutes and then I think maybe the last 15 minutes it was maybe end to end. Um, you see, but it, was a good, it was a good game to play in. Um, obviously the first game against Falkirk and that and how many fans were here and that, I'm sure they enjoyed the game but on and on, no, it's probably a bit disappointing we couldn't take three points concerning the chances we had. We hitting the crossbar, hitting the post. In the first half, um, you kind of touched on it there, you, you, you felt that we were just maybe just not being able to, to kind of get to grips with things um, in terms of just getting the ball down and, and playing a natural game. How do you feel that that changed in the second half just with that slight tactical change? Yeah, as I've said, um, I think first half we were maybe a couple of yards off them and it let them dictate the ball. They were passing it around with um, on a number of occasions and I just think second half obviously we changed it. The man just came in, he's tweaked it. I think you've seen the second half, the difference it made, we were up on people, we were up on second balls and we created a lot more chances than what we did first half. Um, it's probably, going back to the first half, it's probably the worst we've played this season. Um, but as you say, it's about how we react, we've not been behind this season and I think obviously the, the credit goes to the boys for the way they've came out the second half and gave everything they've got and probably unlucky they'll get the one in the end. Nine minutes into the second half and the referee points to the spot. I doubt uh, before today you were expecting to be standing up and taking a penalty in front of a, a Pat Norrie McCarthy stand. Yeah, um, obviously um, it was the Montrose game at home. Um, the manager says obviously who wants, who's on the penalties um, and I'm just like, I'll, I'll, I'll take them. Um, I like obviously striking a ball and that and I've took penalties before so. Um, but it was nice in front of the home supporting that to get my first goal and that. It was a nice moment for myself and as you say it's probably just but it was sweet, but I was a bit disappointed we couldn't uh, get that three points in the end. We did push after that, as you said. We did have control with the second half for, for large periods of it. I think the manager said we ended up hitting the, the, the post or the bar, I think, three three or four times throughout the 90 minutes. So we, we came close, but in the end, uh, we take the point and we move on. Yeah, I think Todorov's um, hit the bar first half. Um, he's hit the post second half. Obviously, Joe's shots at the post. So there were chances there, and as you say, it's... Take away the first half, I think, again, we're creating chances. Um, and you see, that's why you can keep asking the boys. They're creating the chances. Sometimes it's not going to come off for you, but I think to a man, they were brilliant going into that second half. Obviously, what, what went on first half and thought taking the league with no being behind this season. Um, to come back out and, obviously, I think, as I say, for half an hour, I think we were well on top. Um, I think they maybe had a, a couple of chances on the counter-attack second half, but that was just maybe because we were just going for it to, to get three points. It's going to happen in football. Um, and as you say, I credit to them and the boys didn't know when they're beaten. They say we're well, still unbeaten, so there's a lot of positives to take from it. The manager said how he felt that Chris Mockery really helped run the game for us in that second half, and it's great that he's had some international recognition with Scotland under 21s. And with our game being off next week, he can go away and, and, and enjoy that kind of moment for him personally, and everybody else could stay here and work hard and, and continue to prepare for Peterhead in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah, firstly, congratulations to Chris. Obviously, he deserves it. Um, I think he's very highly rated at uh, Dunyan United, so as you say, we're glad to have him here. Um, in terms of the game, I think he was really frustrated the first half, he probably couldn't have gotten the ball enough, um, but second half showed even him personally what he brings to the team. Uh, that run, it was that run he took on about four, five men, and he was very lucky not to put it in there, it would have been a great goal. Um, but as you see, it's very hard to get the ball off him, he's got the ball around his feet, even in training, it's very hard to get the ball off on that, so if we can keep getting him on the ball and that, you'll make things happen for a win. As you see, he's a very talented young player. And everybody else, as I said, just preparing for Peterhead in two weeks' time, so just hoping for a similar big crowd and, and uh, another win if possible. Yep, as I said, it doesn't, doesn't stop. You know, We'll be in train, also disappointed again to find out the game's off next week, but as you say, you need to respect these players have got, obviously, international recognition, so um, you need to respect that. And as you say, we we'll need to go and train hard and be prepared for the game. Peter Hay game coming up, as you say, it'll be a tough game and I'm sure they won today, so they'll be on a high. Um, but you see, we'll keep doing what we're doing. Not too far ahead, it's just the next game. As you say, we're still unbeaten, so as long as that continue.